Well, we want to make sure that they can stay in character when they're in the costume. Um, they should be able to communicate without talking because they're not allowed to verbally uh, communicate. So we need to see if they are able to do that and get a grasp of it. They also need to make their movements larger than life. So when they're walking, be picking up their arms and their legs and um, making themselves visible. So if, if they were at a game and you're up in the stands, your eyes are drawn to them. This is Hank reacting to an unfavorable call against the Bulldogs. And we just won a la or we just made a last second shot for a big game. back in California actually going to a lot of basketball games and I always just wanted to just meet the mascot and I remember this one time I got so nervous I just like ran away from it. I've always been kind of the silly kid with my friends so my friends kind of recommended me I try out to be a mascot and always thought it'd be kind of a fun thing. I think what makes a really good mascot is one that's um, energetic but yet has the gestures um, that, although there's no speaking part, that really gets the, um, the crowd going. This is Dan Peterson's version of Hank, leading the basketball team out onto the floor at the beginning of a game. If they do a good job, you shouldn't be able to tell from year to year that we have a different person.